Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Brass Birmingham. If you'd also like to know how to play it, then I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready to go. I'll be setting it up for three players. Start by placing the game board in the middle. You can choose which side you want to use, they're both the same. On one side it's day, and on the other side it's night time, no other difference. Let's put some things on the board. Take out all these wooden cubes, black ones and orange ones. Place one black cube on each space of this area where you see a black cube at the top. Just skip this one space at the bottom here. When you're done, do the same for the orange area. Place one cube on each space, except the two spaces all the way at the bottom. The rest of the cubes can go next to the board as a supply. Next, take out these tiles. They're straight on one side and round on the other side. The merchant tiles. Keep them face down and mix them up. And then start placing them face up on spaces on the board that show the same shape, like here. Since I'm setting it up for three players, I don't place any tiles on these spaces that show four little dots to indicate you only use that when you're with four players. But all the other spaces do get a face-up tile. When you're done and you have any tiles left, they can go back in the box. There's also beer. Take out these beer barrels. Place one barrel above each merchant tile that you've just placed, if it shows something on it. A few of these tiles have nothing on them. That means you don't put a, par a barrel next to them. But if it does show something, that's where you put the beer. When you're done, you can put the rest of these beer barrels next to the board as a supply. The last thing to go on the board is cards. They go on these three spaces top left. At the bottom, you can put the cards that look like this. Since I'm setting it up for three players, I only use three. If you want, you could remove the card that specifically shows it's for four players. You also have these cards. Again, I only use three. So this card that's for four players goes back in the box and the rest goes face up on the board. That leaves us with one more space for cards. But that's what we have this big deck of cards for. If you're with four people, then you can use all the cards. But I'm with three, so I have to remove all the cards that show four little dots at the bottom right. They can go out of the game. The rest of these cards get a good shuffle. And then place the deck face down on the game board. That's done. But one more thing. Money. Make a supply of that next to the board. And now it's time for everything for the players. Everyone gets one of these player boards. Place it in front of you. Doesn't matter which side up. Every player can take one of these information cards as a reminder for how you play the game. 
everyone can also take 17 money from the supply and every player gets 8 cards from the face down deck keep them to yourself in your hand and take one extra card from the deck to put in front of you as the start of your discard pile. I'll put my cards to the left of my board and my discard pile on the right. Pick a color. I'll choose yellow so I get this yellow player token. This is me. I'll keep it here for now. I have this round yellow marker, that's for my money, and it goes on space 10 of the outer track. Every player starts here. And my yellow scoring marker. That goes all the way down on zero. Everyone starts the game with zero points. I've got some yellow tokens that look like this. A boat on one side, a train on the other side. Just make your own supply near you. The last thing is putting all my own yellow tiles on my own player board. To save some time I've already prepared that. Because you have a lot of tiles and each tile has to go on exactly the right space. You've got different types of tiles, but each type also has different values. Some of them are in there more than once. In that case, just stack them up like this. If you're setting this up with me, you can finish this up in a moment, but end it with taking everyone's player token Shuffle them and then place them here to determine the player order. And now you're ready for the first round of Brass Birmingham. If you'd like to know how that goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.